Hey guys, here are my 2019 predictions for AQA Chemistry Paper 1. Now, my predictions for last year's papers are actually really, really good. So people that got my predicted paper and did their paper had a massive beast when they went into the exam. But it is really, really important that you remember I am not an examiner. These are just predictions. I do not have any insider info. I do not know exactly what is going to be on the exam. Please remember to revise absolutely everything. And if you want a checklist of absolutely everything, then you can go and download that from my website in the free revision guide. There are a few key skills that we know come up in chemistry papers every single year. Balancing equations is always, always a good one. It comes up in nearly every single paper. But we know this is a really, really tricky skill. So if you do struggle to balance equations, if you really, really can't do it after trying, I don't actually want you to spend days and days and days practicing balancing equations because there are better things you can be doing. If you tried and you really can't work out the answer in the exam, then you could just put down two because the majority of time, that's the answer at GCSE. The first chemistry paper has lots of core concepts for science in. For example, structure of the atom, how the periodic table works, the mass number, the atomic number, the number of neutrons, protons, electrons, uh, how the periodic table started, the properties of all the groups and the elements in them. These are key things that come up over and over and over again. So this is a really, really important area to focus your revision on. There are a few very, very popular topics that didn't necessarily come up last year. And these are sort of things that I like for this year's paper. For example, dot and cross diagrams. You need to know them for ionic compounds, you need to know them for the common, simple covalent compounds. Now, the differences between structures did come up last year, but this is always such a popular question. The bonding and structures in simple covalent, giant covalent, metallic and ionic compounds are always really good questions, and it's so important that you can revise those properly and do the differences between them well. All of these sorts of things I've covered in the quickfire questions, which are in the revision guide on my website, as well as knowing all the structure and bonding bonding, things like metals they could ask a lot about. That didn't necessarily come up a lot last year. We know that 20% of your chemistry grade is going to be maths based and is not evenly split between the two papers. The majority of the maths is in this paper. So we can expect there to be lots of maths questions. Now these can be chemistry maths questions or it can be applying any part of the math spec to any part of the chemistry spec in any way that the examiners can think of because we know there has to be novel situations and when I'm writing questions for you those are the sort of things that I know and I try and put into my questions so that I can prepare you really, really well. So in this paper we've got balancing equations, we've got masses, there are titration calculations for the separate scientists, and there are bonds, lots and lots of things that can come up. If your math and chemistry isn't great, then I've written you a booklet, which you can go and download from my website, which has loads of maths in chemistry bits for you. Now the other thing we know is that practicals are going to be a big part of the paper. They make up 15% of your grade. The ones that I like for this year are going to be the ones relating to salts. And for that you need to know how to apply the method you've done in class, the method that you've been given by AQA, and change it to a new situation. What are all the bits of equipment called? What are they all used for? You need to be able to know all of the general sort equations and apply them in different ways. And again, into this, they can make it a six mark question or they can throw a load of maths in there as well. The one where you measure the temperature change by adding acids and alkalis together, the neutralisation one, that could be a really, really big one as well. There are lots of different sources of errors you need to know, there are lots and lots of alternatives that you need to be able to work out. We know they need to ask you about novel and unknown situations, and the most obvious place to do it for me in this paper is in the practicals. So you need to expect the unexpected and just learning the method that you've been given by AQA isn't going to be enough to get full marks on the practical papers. You know to help you with this, I've written you four practical books, which you can go and get from Amazon, 
or you can go and download the practice papers from a website where I try and pay for this as much as possible. Combined science people, this is the end for you. Good luck. Um, I've done all the predicted videos for you. They are coming up. I'm going to be here with you every single step of the way. Separate science people, there are a few extra little bits we need to know. Titrations is a brilliant practical. It also has a lot of maths in it and lends itself very, very well to six mark questions. If I was doing separate science this year that is something that I would definitely focus my attention on. This is a really really traditional really really common exam question and there are so many different things they can ask about it. It fits in with literacy, it fits in with the 10% 20% math and it fits in with 15% practical. The other thing they could ask you about is nanotechnology. Now there's a lot more things they could ask you about in paper two, but these are the ones that I like for paper one. Good luck guys.